Hi, this is Joe Adriel from Frankfurt on Foot, and today we're going to walk along the river and look at all the museums that are over here. So we're here at the Eisner Steg, so we've got a video about that. That's this bridge right here, and right behind it is the Frankfurt Historical Museum. You can see the little guard tower there, but most of the museums are on this other side. So the river's pretty busy today. Let's see what we got here. Everybody's eating outside. It's a sunny day. It's October. And it's just lovely. It's a perfect fall day in Frankfurt. It's a Sunday, so the stores are closed, but all the museums are open. Well, some of the museums are free on Saturday, on the last Saturday of the month, called Sat Tour Day. And I'll tell you which ones those are when we go past them. And then we have things like a Museum Riverbank Festival, which is the last uh, weekend in August, as well as uh, Night of the Museums. So that's one of those things where you pay one price and you get into all the museums. And it's a pretty good deal, especially the Museum Riverbank Festival. That's like eight euros and for the whole weekend you get in all the museums. So I might go across the river. There's less people, there's less bicycles, and it's more in the shade. And you can see better what I'm looking at and what I'm telling you about. So this is the Villa Metzlar here. And it belongs to this white building here. This is the Applied Arts Museum. And the villa is really pretty. You wanna see how Wealthy Frankfurt has lived at the turn of the century. You can. So we're gonna race across the street here. This car is going really fast. <laughs> so when you come into this museum, it has this little bridge thing comes over here to the villa. So the villa is nice, it's all decorated kind of uh, they have some art deco rooms which are lovely so applied arts what does that mean take things that you use every day and then go back centuries and see what did they look like so dishes pots and pans furniture chairs or there's certain styles like art deco or modern I think kidney shaped tables and tables things like that uh, they also have like an asian section they have a muslim section or islam and then have this nice little park out here and they have a cafe called emma metzler back in there she can sit outside So across the river, on the other side that's behind these buildings here is the Archaeology Museum. Um, and that's quite nice, as well as the Carmelite Cloister. And the Archaeology Museum is free on that last Saturday of the month, as is this Applied Arts Museum. Back here and behind this park is the Bible Museum. It's not free. It's only free on night of the museums or during the Museum of Event Festival. It's an interesting museum. And most of the museums do offer children's parties. Or if you're having a special event, they all, most of them have cafes that do catering. Some nice place to sit down back here. So let me just look at this real quick so you can see this. It's called the Museum Ufer with the gardens and all the museums that are along here. So most of these houses were built in the early 1800s to middle 1800s. These were magnificent villas. And the city took them in the 1980s and made them into museums to help with our reputation because our reputation wasn't very good back then. 
and they were putting about 11% of their household budget into culture. So when they had this Museum Riverbank Festival in August, this attracts about between two and three million people for a weekend. They do dragon boat races. There's about 600 stands lining both sides of the river. That fireworks. It's a lot of fun. Lots of music. Lots of ethnic food. Let's admire the World Culture Museum. At the moment, I do not believe these are open because of COVID. They're too small inside. But again, these will be free on Sat Tour Day. But I do not believe that they're open right now. So the street that we're approaching with the bridge, this is the Schweizerstrasse. We're on the Sachsenhausen side of Frankfurt right now anyway. Admire these houses again. If you imagine how wealthy you'd have to be to have this house and you're looking at the river and you had neighbors across the river that had magnificent houses too. Could all just sit there admiring each other. So we're approaching the film museum, which is pretty good. As far as the uh, Applied Arts Museum, some of their exhibits may be in English and others not. It's not like the best museum as far as like for English speakers. Some of the museums do really, really well and others don't. So, so the exhibit that they're featuring here at the Film Museum is Catastrophe. Uh, this started in July. What comes after the end? So I haven't gone to see that. It sounds pretty good. It's not free. If you go, if you want to come and see some of the good museums in Frankfurt, just get a museum card. It's good for two days. Just don't make Monday one of those days because most of the museums are closed on Mondays. This is the Architecture Museum. This one is free on Sat Tour Day. It's also called the Dam, Deutsches Architektur Museum. They also have a little cafe inside for cake and coffee. They should have an exhibit up on the top floors about some sort of genre for six months. Whether it's all the TV towers in Europe or in the world or... Uh, one time they had the white architecture of Tel Aviv. Other times they have the best skyscrapers in the world for like 2017 or something. Who won? Unique architecture. Architecture that's very green, that works with the surroundings. So things like that. So you can see the river boats are coming in. The river cruises. What we can't see very well, just a little bit, but over there where their riverboat is, there's also a white building right there. And that is the Jewish Museum. That's the one that just reopened last year. This has Frankfurt's Jewish history from 1800 to present.
Who remembers telephone boxes? Does it still work? It does. Put your money in. Believe it or not, they do still have occasionally telephone boxes here where you can pay money and make a phone call. For people with emergencies, not everybody has a mobile phone. Or as they call them in Germany, a handy. So this is the communication museum over here, this kind of modern looking building. And they're really good about doing like birthday parties for kids too. It's pretty wide open spaces inside. It's got cool architecture and has a little cafe inside. And this is another one where every six months they change the main exhibit upstairs. So right now it's called Curious Communication. Unique forms of communication. But basically this communication museum has, how do, have we communicated with each other from, I don't know, day one? Using drums, smoke signals, whistles, yodels, markings on walls. Um, the first Morse code and telegraph and telephones and satellite so you know things have really raced ahead in the last hundred years and really a lot in the last 50 years so that's a place you can go and look at that uh, so here in germany the deutsche post ran everything they ran not only the post but also the banking system and they ran the tvs and the radio and the phone so all of that went together. So the next museum that we're approaching is the Stadel. World Class Art Museum. I think what's coming up soon, or that just started, is uh, Rembrandt. Last year they had a pretty good Van Gogh, Van Gogh, however you want to call him. I'm not Dutch, I'm American, I grew up calling Van Gogh. Germans tend to call him Van Gogh. So. People say my name wrong all the time too, that's just how it is. So back behind here is very interesting. Uh, out front, it looks like they're renovating. The building itself is beautiful. And they have all different genres of paintings in there. Downstairs in the basement are the, like the Impressionists. So the Rembrandt exhibit just started last week on the 6th of October and goes until the 30th of January. Uh, 2022. I'm also wondering that they don't have a line. They have a little bit of one, but not really. This is the Holbein Bridge over here. It's a pedestrian bridge. So, the building is pretty. Excellent gift shop. They have a nice little cafe inside. So these are the opening times. This is another place if you want to have a special event. I'll help you plan that with catering, something very unique. It's a nice bridge. I like to walk across it. It's a good place to watch fireworks if they're doing fireworks down here on the river. 
All these trees are all lit up at nighttime. It's really pretty. So down here, all these side streets, these are quite wealthy neighborhoods. And all these streets are named after different artists. So this is Holbein. Either artists that are painting or musicians. This is the Rude Gesellschaft, Rude Gesellschaft Germania. Got these people out here rowing the crew boats. It dates back to what, 1869? So the next museum that's coming up on our left not yet, but um, soon is going to be the Liebig House, which is all sculpture. And again, it's one of those beautiful villas that somebody built and moved into. And when you go through the rooms where all the sculptures are, you're in this house and you can see how gorgeous it is. And you have carved and painted ceilings out of wood, marble floors. And they have this nice garden area. So this is Mr. Liebig and his family booked here. And that's why this is called the Liebig House. The Sun Rembrandt Strasse. The street that we're walking down is called Schaumein Kai or Museumsufer. down there it's pretty so sometimes they have events back here in the garden in the evenings maybe some blues or some jazz something nice and chill my summer evening while you wait for it to get dark at 11 o'clock you can sit back here in the gardens Right now it's still nice outside. And they do have some sculptures sitting around the gardens. That's what they have at the cafe. This is their opening hours. And there, it dates back to 1896, the Ruby House. A little bit farther away from the house you can see it better there's so many trees you can't hardly see anything but yeah it's it's a garden maybe down here we can so we'll just admire the other side of the river the blue skies the clouds and the non-green way to see frankfurt on a hop on hop off bus we are green. We walk or use trains. We just don't think you can see much of anything on a ho-ho bus. Still can't see into there. This is Rubenstrasse. They've got a very pretty sundial over there. Now we're coming up on the Museum Giersch, which is our last museum along this row. And this museum is also closed right now for renovation. But, yeah. I don't know what they're doing in there, but I think they decided it wasn't worth to open up 
with so limited people that you could allow in because it's such a small house. And what the Giersch Museum has are paintings that are of Frankfurt or that are by Frankfurt artists. A little bit around the Frankfurt area. So it's kind of a different little genre of painting. This is a nice house. I'd live here. You get into some sections back here over in Sachsenhausen where you have consulates and some really nice hotels. It's like the Villa Kennedy is back over here. The China consulate is over here. You start to see into the skyscrapers over that way. Oh, look, that's an old Mustang. You do not see a lot of those in Frankfurt. Wow. How cool. I'm going to go over here because there's no traffic. Almost to the end of our walk. We're just going to go up here to the bridge so we can have a nice end to everything. Well, this is like a little rowing house here and they're usually open for food. It does not look like they're open for some reason. Some people are on vacation so this is a really reasonable place to come and get a schnitzel. <laughs> Or some Frankfurt green sauce. The Boat's House restaurant. I'll have to look that up and see if they're open or not. So all the specials are erased from the building, from the boards. They might just be on vacation. So the building that we're looking at over here that's round the West Harbor Tower. In Frankfurt, it's called Das Gerippte because the Frankfurters think it looks like an apple wine glass. An apple wine glass in Frankfurt is called Das Gerippte, the ribbed, because it has these hash marks on it, like ribbed, ribbed sides. This is the Friedensbrücke or the Peace Bridge. This guy standing here is the harbor worker. There he is. So, he's from 1896, Constantine Moyer. This is supposed to be the harbor worker. He's often dressed up. I'm surprised he doesn't have a mask on right now. Sometimes he'll have on a t-shirt or something. So that's it for our tour today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Walking along the river, seeing the museums of Frankfurt, enjoying this nice sunny day in October. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And if you saw anything that you're not sure of, please send me your comments. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Bye.